Historically, dry forests across the western U.S. experienced regular wildfires. More recently, land management practices have suppressed many wildfires, changing the structure and composition of these forests. Typically in those stands, fire came through like every 15, 20 years usually stayed on the ground and took out the little trees, um, the suppressed trees. It basically weeded the garden. Then we got good at fire suppression. We actively tried to put them out as quick as they, as they got started. So in a stand like this, it probably hasn't seen fire for 70 or 80 years now. We've got overstocked stand conditions. From a habitat standpoint, the habitat is deteriorating quickly. The stand is now more susceptible to insects to disease, and more importantly, wildfire. We have a tremendous need for ecological restoration in our dry forests across the West. Our work on restoration, ecological restoration, is using tools like uh, thinning and prescribed fire to reintroduce disturbance into these forests and to promote their health and resilience. To remove overstocked growth, and restore these forests to more natural conditions, land managers need to make decisions about which trees to remove and which trees to leave. What might look like randomness, a tree in a clearing, a clump of small to large trees, is actually a broader prescription for the structure of the forest on a much larger scale. Individuals, clumps, and openings, or ICO, is an approach to thinning that describes the variability that was present in forest structure prior to widespread fire suppression. ICO uses historic forest structure as a guide for restoring present-day forests, making them more resilient to threats such as climate change, increased drought, and wildfire into the future. In May 2016, land managers gathered at a workshop in Clay Allen, Washington to learn about ICO and to practice with a new technology tool, an app, that helped them apply it on the ground at the nearby LT Murray Wildlife Area. At the workshop, we've brought in uh, foresters and timber marking crews from across eastern Washington. So they're coming here to Clay Ellum to learn about uh, this approach to putting the, the principles and the approaches to restoring our dry forests on the ground. This is Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife land, the LT Murray Wildlife Area. Since it has been purchased, there's been no active timber management before we came in here and really started uh, actively cutting and managing, we're trying to recreate those stand conditions that existed then. The, the thought being that those provided the most for wildlife habitat and were sustainable. It's hard to describe very well, you know, how much variability and, and, and are we getting it right? Are we leaving it too clumpy or, or, or too uniform? Are the gaps big enough? What ICO is, is it's a way of quantifying pattern from uh, historical forests that had frequent fire or, or actually current forests like in wilderness areas or places where they have an active fire regime where we have this desired structure and pattern we want. So we install a stem map in those areas or we go to areas where we do, we reconstruct what was there in 1890 when we had an active fire regime. And then we use a clumping algorithm to to figure out what proportion of the trees in those historical forests were in these widely spaced individuals, were in, in different sizes of clumps, and, and we have another tool to figure out what the openings uh, were like. And then we use those, those proportions, those numbers, to help design uh, our, our restoration prescriptions for, for our treatment units. And, and it's a fairly straightforward process. You figure out you know, how many trees you want to leave and then, and then what how many individuals and how many clumps of different sizes you, you want to leave across a unit. During the summer of 2017, the unit marked with the ICO app during the May 2016 workshop will be thinned and land managers will reintroduce prescribed fire to maintain the ecosystem. As a result, the forest will be healthier, better prepared for future conditions, and will offer better habitat to native species. And when wildfires do occur, the forest will be able to thrive with fire versus burning up.